Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And as we have a handful of people that are still on Windows 11 23H2, uh, Microsoft on Friday has released um, a, a new blog post where they lifted more blockers for 24H2 and Windows 11. And so those blockers, one was if you're using customization software for wallpapers in the background um, and things like that, you had a block because some of them would create blue screens. And the other one was a uh, blocker and if we um, um, that had to do with a, a specific file that created blue screens also. Uh, so two of them are removed now. They're... Things are back to normal. The issues are resolved, which um, kind of tells us that Microsoft wants us to really move on now. Um, and they're rushing to fix everything as 23H2 has only a few weeks left before it is officially end of support. So if you're on 23H2 and you wonder if um, things are getting better, I suggest that you go to your Windows update and that from here you check for Windows updates. Uh, you might see 24H2 where you didn't see it before because of one of those blockers. So this is uh, something that Microsoft is kind of going a little faster now. Kind of understanding that, you know, if you have a blocker, it's you gotta you have to fix something because uh, we're, you'll be at, out of support soon and, and they want you to move on, of course. So that is um, kind of an update here where 24H2 now will be the official version that um, is going to be um, on the majority of PCs while we start having a rollout of 25H2. But there's news of 25H2 and plus viewer questions on 25H2. And those will be addressed in the next video that I'm going to make. So uh, if you're interested in uh, 25H2, or not interested and don't want it and things like that, um, we'll talk about, you know, um, 25H2 in the next video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.